In today's video, I'm going to talk about one of the things you need to do to set up our Asset Manage Enterprise Asset Tracking software, and that is to set up an ODBC data source. Uh, in this instance, we're going to connect to a um, Amazon RDS, which I believe stands for Remote Data Services, and we've created a couple of example databases, uh, SQL Server Express Edition uh, database instances to test our software against. So I'm in the uh, panel for Amazon RDS, and I'll click on the one of the sample databases, and that is uh, LSS-1. So the first piece of information I need to keep track of is the endpoint. That's going to be used when I define the ODBC data source later on. So I'm going to copy that, and what I can do is just uh, open up an instance of uh, Microsoft Notepad and store that and save the information there. Which I'll do right now, just copy and paste. So I've got that. Now to show you what's in this database right now, I'm going to connect to the database instance, type in my login name and password, connect. And so I've got, uh, I've created one database, uh, Asset Manage Ent, that's the database schema that's used for our Asset Manage tracking software. And you can see here the tables, uh, assets, attachments, categories, etc. And so I created this by restoring from a backup. That's that's a subject for another video. Okay, so now let's get started in creating the ODBC data source. So down at the lower left here, I'm going to type in ODBC, Windows search bar. And I've got an application, ODBC data sources 32-bit. I'll run that. And in my situation, I'm going to be creating a system DSN. Of course, your situation could be different. So I click Add, and I'm going to select a driver that uh, corresponds to the version number of the SQL Server database instance I used in Amazon. And I believe this one will work, ODBC Driver 17. So I click on Finish. It's asking me for an identifier. I will call it. Asset Manage Amazon DNS. Now, here I need the endpoint for the database instance. I'm going to copy this to the clipboard, paste it into the server field, click Next. Now, for SQL Server, I want I need to enter a, a ID and password. So I'm going to select that. Now the default database, um, in my situation, uh, we've got the default database that I showed you earlier, Asset Manage Ent. I'm going to select that as the default database. Click Next, Finish, Test the Data Source, and you can see here it, it tested successfully. So the ODBC data source has been successfully created. And after I install Asset Manage Enterprise and run it, it's going to present a list of DSNs. I'm going to select the one I just created to connect to our uh, Amazon RDS database. Thanks for watching.